Hello, Lana. Welcome to Agriculture Lesson for Grade 4. Today, we are going to learn about compost manure. We are going to learn about compost manure. Your radio teacher is Teacher Dominic Mohia. Welcome to the program. Hello, Lana. Welcome to Agriculture Lesson for Grade 4. Today, we are going to learn about compost manure. Compost manure. Before we begin, let us remind ourselves what we learned about soil. Lana. Name three types of soil. Name three types of soil. Yes, the three types of soil include sand, clay, and loam. Sand, clay, and loam. What is the difference between these types of soil? Let us talk about their particles. Which soil has the largest particle? Name for me the soil with the largest particle. If your answer is sand, then you are correct. Sand soil contains the largest particles. The large particles allow water to pass through easily. Therefore, soil cannot hold much water compared to loam and clay soil. Lana, which soil has the smallest particle? The correct answer is clay. I hope you got it right. Clay soil has the smallest particles compared to loam and sand soil. Clay soil holds more water than loam and sand soil. The ability of different soils to hold water depend on the size of its particles. Lana which soil is the best for modeling? Can you name for me the best soil for modeling? And why do you think so? Yes, the best soil for modeling is clay soil. Clay soil is the best soil for modeling because it can hold a lot of water. This makes it easy to roll ribbons, making pots. We make pots in pottery. Now let us get back to our topic of today compost manure compost manure is 
manure made from animal and plant wastes. The animal and plant wastes are piled up to rot. Animal and plant wastes rot easily, making it possible to make compost manure. Lana, name some of the plant wastes that we can get after using in the kitchen. Name some of the plant wastes that we can get after using in the kitchen. If you look around the kitchen, some of the plant wastes include vegetable cuttings for spinach, cabbages, sukuma wiki. We have fruit peels such as for mangoes, apples, bananas. We also have potato peels. These are kitchen wastes, and they are also known as kitchen refuse. The kitchen wastes are also known as kitchen refuse. Other plant wastes that can be used to make compost manure are 1. Dry maize or sugarcane stalks. Dry maize or sugarcane stalks. 2. Dry plants or dry leaves. 3. We have dry grass cuttings. And four, we can use maize cobs. Remember, Lana, we shall also require animal manure or animal wastes from the farm animals within our environment. The farm animals, such as cows, goats, and even chicken, produce animal manure, which we use to make compost manure. Which animals do you rear at home? Well, the waste produced rot easily, and that can help in making compost manure. Lana, where can we get ash from? Ash is collected after burning charcoal or firewood. The soft, grayish substance collected after burning charcoal or firewood is known as ash. Ash is suitable for making compost manure. Finally, in making compost manure, we shall require topsoil and waterproof paper. Lana, can you name the materials that cannot be used to make compost manure because they do not rot? Well, some of these materials that do not rot 
and cannot be used to make compost manure include plastic bottles, metal cans, bottle tops, and many others. These materials cannot rot and therefore they cannot make compost manure. Let us now name materials used for making compost manure. Do you think you can name at least four materials without checking in your notebook? Yes, give it a try. The materials used to prepare compost manure are animal wastes or animal manure, topsoil, dry grass cuttings, dry leaves, ash, dry maize stalks, kitchen wastes or kitchen refuse, and a waterproof paper. A waterproof paper may include a nylon or a polythene bag. With the help of your parent or guardian, Look around your environment and try and identify the materials to be used for making compost manure. Remember to wear hand gloves to protect yourself. Always wash your hands regularly to avoid contamination of diseases. With that, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. Hello, Lana. Welcome to Agriculture Lesson for Grade 4. Today, we are going to learn about compost manure. We are going to learn about compost manure. Your radio teacher is teacher Dominic Mohia. Welcome to the program. <laughs> 